children and welcome to another Sunday school lesson. So this Sunday we are going to be learning about a very famous parable that Jesus said. It is the story of the sower. So let's have a look at our video and come back to the rest of the lesson. God's story, seeds in a farmer. So a part of God's story is about some seeds in a farmer and it goes like this. Jesus traveled from town to town teaching about God everywhere he went. Lots of people followed. One day, a huge crowd came to see Jesus. So many people that Jesus had to get into a boat while the people stayed on shore so everyone could see and hear him. Jesus helped people to understand what God is like by telling stories. We call those stories parables. That day, Jesus told this parable. A farmer went to his field to plant some seeds. Some seeds fell into a path. Before these seeds had a chance to grow, some birds flew in from out of nowhere and ate the seeds up. Some seeds fell onto stones and rocks. These seeds started to grow, but their roots couldn't go deep enough to get water. And when the sun came up the next day, it burned up the plants. Some seeds fell among thorns. They grew, but so did the thorns, until the thorns got so thick they blocked out the sun and rain. Still, other seeds fell into good soil that was perfect for these plants to grow. These seeds grew into big, tall plants, and they made seeds of their own. And those seeds became big, tall plants too. Eventually, those seeds grew to produce many times what was planted. When he had finished, Jesus said, whoever has ears should listen. But not everyone who heard the parable understood it. The disciples came to Jesus and asked, why do you use stories when you speak to people? And Jesus explained that just because people hear information about God doesn't mean they understand it. But sometimes, when we hear a story about God, we can understand something about Him that we didn't understand before. Well, people must have still been confused because Jesus went ahead and explained the story of the seeds and the farmer. The farmer scattering seeds was like Jesus telling people about God's plan to rescue them. Remember the seeds that were eaten by birds? They're like the people who have heard about God's rescue plan but didn't understand. They never got a chance to learn about God or start to follow Him. The seeds that fell into stones and rocks? These were people who heard and believed in God for a little while, but they gave up when following God was hard to do. Their faith wasn't very deep, like the roots of the plant weren't very deep. What about the seeds that fell among thorns? These were people who heard, believed, and started to follow, but they couldn't trust God with their whole life. Their worries and selfishness stopped them from growing. Just like thorns block the plants from getting sunlight and water. And finally, the seeds in the good soil. They're the people who hear and receive Jesus' rescue. And then they follow Jesus. And their faith keeps growing no matter what happens in their lives. They grow strong and healthy and help other people to follow Jesus too. Just like plants that grow and produce seeds to make other plants. Jesus wants people to know that it's not enough just to hear his words or stories. We can put our faith in Jesus and follow him. Basically, we have to trust God with everything and do what he says, even if that means some people don't understand us, or even if we get worried and make mistakes. And if you're watching this, that means you can trust God and do what he says too. And that's the parable of the seeds in a farmer, a part of God's story. So we just saw the video and in our story uh, we see how the farmer or the sower goes out to sow the seeds and we see that the seeds fall in four different places right some fall on the path and birds come and eat them some fall on a rocky area where they start to grow but because of the heat of the day they and because there is not enough space for the roots to take good root they die and then some fall among thorns and other weeds. They too grow, but then they get choked out because there are other plants growing with it. But then the seed that falls in the good soil takes root and grows well and gives a very good harvest, even more than what is expected, right? And we also saw in our video how 
uh, it is explained as to what these four uh, categories are or what it means. It is how we listen to the Bible or the word of God. So we see how these four areas represent something, right? Where the seeds that fall on the path that the birds ate are people who don't understand what they hear because as soon as the seeds fall on the path, the birds come and quickly eat it and go, right? So whoever is reading the word of God like this first area does not understand what they read. Then what about the second area, the seeds that fall among the rock? Yes, it plants a bit, right? It takes root but not strong enough. So these are the people who understand but they soon forget what they learned in the word of God, right? What about the third place where it falls among the weeds and the thorny trees, right? It grows. It grows quite well. But after some time, the thorny trees start choking the good plants, right? And the plants are not able to grow anymore. And this represents people who listen to the word of God and they do what the word of God says. But with time, with the troubles of the world and all the other issues that they face, they soon forget what the word of God says. And those troubles take a more uh, important place in their lives where they can't remember what the Bible says or what the word of God tells them. And so they also forget what the word says. The final place, the fourth place, is where the seed falls in good soil, soil where the seeds can take root very well. And these are the people who understand what they read in the word of God and then they put it into practice, right? They put it into practice and what they learn, you know, it keeps growing like the crop that gave uh, even more than what was expected and it spreads, right? So uh, people in the fourth category will also help others understand what the word of God means, right? So Andy hopes that you understood what today's story was about. It was about how we, when we read the word of God and when we are doing our Sunday school lessons or if we are studying at home, um, how, if you are spending time with the Bible at home, we should always remember to pay close attention attention to what we are doing uh, to give our full focus to the word of God at that time and see what God is speaking to each and every one of us because we have to read the word of God and understand it as well and we should always pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help us and to guide us and to help us understand what we are reading in the word of God. With this in mind, let's have a look at our craft activity for today. So for our handwork, we will be needing felt pens or crayons or color pencils, anything you like, pencil eraser, pair of scissors, gum, and also scrap A4 paper and an A4 sheet that Auntie has uh, cut out and taken exactly a square, right? And Auntie has folded it into four uh, and have been able to then divide it into four equal sections. So let's see how we put our story into our handwork today. So, as you can see, Auntie has depicted the four places that the seeds fell in our story into this handwork. We have the sower here and the four scenes. Now, Auntie is going to ask you a question. Are these scenes in order? Do you remember the order of the seeds when they fell? Yeah? Are the pictures in order? No, right? If we say 1, 2, 3, 4, this order is wrong, right? So, Auntie has also cut out some circles and written numbers 1 to 4 in this. And now, we are going to put it in the correct order. So, where should the number 1 circle go? Should it go to where there is a lot of green plants that have grown? No? What about where the sun is shining? Is that the right place? No. Then is the place with the birds the correct one? Yes. All right. So we will place number one there. What about number two? Is number two where the plant has grown really well? No. What about where they are growing between other weeds and Thorny plants. Is that where number two is? No? Is it where the sun is? Yes? Alright. Then we paste number two there. Alright. Then number three. 
Where should number three go? Number three is where the plants grow with the other weeds and the thorny plants. Correct. And finally, number four, of course, is where the plants take root in good soil and grows a big, big harvest. Right? So, Adi hopes that you like this activity and handwork and that you will remember our story and what each of these areas mean to us as well so i hope you enjoy making your very own so auntie would encourage you to read the story of the sower at home with your family and if you are unable to read as yet you can ask somebody in your family to read it to you so our story is taken from the book of matthew in the new testament matthew chapter 13 verses 1 to 23 is where our story is taken from and now let's have a look at our memory verse for today which is matthew matthew Chapter 13, verses 23. So let's have a look at what it says. But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty or thirty times what was sown. So that is speaking about the person who understands what the word of God says or what that particular story you read means and takes it into heart, right? So now let us spend some time in prayer. So let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful day and thank you for the lesson that you taught us today about the story of the sower. Jesus, help us to be like the good soil where the seed falls, so that we will understand everything that is written in your word. Help us to pay close attention while we read our Bibles and to see what you are teaching us through all the stories in the Bible. Holy Spirit, be with us and help us. Give us wisdom and understanding as we read your word daily. Jesus, I thank you for this day once again and I commit my family, my friends, my country and everybody I love into your precious hands. I pray this all in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And now as we draw to a close for our Sunday school lesson for today, Auntie hopes that you learned something valuable today and you had fun during our Sunday school lesson. I hope that you know that Jesus used lots of parables like the story of the sower and many more to teach the people who always came and listened to him. He taught very important lessons through simple stories like parables. So Auntie hopes that you all also understood the lesson and that you will take it into heart that whenever you are reading the Bible, you will pay close attention to what it is, what is said in it, and that you will take it into heart and that you will pray and ask God for wisdom and understanding to see what God is teaching each and every one of us while we read the Bible. So till Auntie sees you next week with another interesting Bible story and Sunday school lesson, please take care of yourselves, be obedient to your parents and your guardians, and remember that Jesus loves each and every one of you very, very much. God bless, take care, and I will see you soon. And now Auntie is leaving you with a chorus for today. I do hope you enjoy it. See you next week. Bye. The sower, the sower, went out to sow, went out to sow, to plant some seeds, to plant some seeds, in hopes that they would grow, hopes that they would grow. Some seed fell on the path. The sower went out to sow in hopes the seed he threw would grow. The sower, the sower, went out to sow. To plant some seeds, to plant some seeds, in hopes that they would grow. Hopes that they would grow. Some seed fell on the rocks. Ouch! Some seed fell on the path. The sower went out to sow in hopes the seed he threw would grow. The sower, the sower, went out to sow. Went out to sow. To plant some seeds, to plant some seeds, in hopes that they would grow, hopes 
Some seed fell on the wheat. Some seed fell on the rocks. Some seed fell on the path. The sower went out to sow in hopes the seed he threw would grow. The sower, the sower, went out to sow. Went out to sow to plant some seed. To plant some seeds in hopes that they would grow. Hopes that they would grow. Some seed fell on the good soil. Some seed fell on the weeds. Some seed fell on the rocks. Ouch! Some seed fell on the path. The sower went out to sow in hopes the seed he threw would grow. Well, the birds ate the seed on the path, and the sun burned the seed on the rocks. The seeds and the weeds were choked, you see, but the seed on the good soil grew and grew. Like the word of 